Good evening to you. I'm Tom Ziska. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah if you are celebrating tonight. We're glad to have you with us. We begin with the Houston family spending their Christmas pleading for justice after a local mechanic was shot and killed in North Houston. As Fox 26's Gabby Hart reports, it was all over a $500 repair bill. Here we're told that mechanic actually was hired by the suspect to fix his vehicle. But when it came time to pay the bill, that's when things took a violent turn, which ultimately led to that father of two being gunned down right here near his shop. <laughs> it's been a heartbreaking holiday for the family of 29 year old Lewis Manuel, a mechanic, a husband, and a father of two young girls. Six of y'all took a piece of our life. And I, I know you're like, you, I know you're seeing this, and you're seeing all of our faces. Esto no se va a quedar así. I will find y'all. Manuel showed up at his auto shop on North Freeway near West Little York Road Friday afternoon. He was planning to collect money from a customer for fixing his truck. But family tells Fox 26 that when the customer came to pick up his vehicle, he had five other Hispanic men along with him, and he refused to pay Manuel the $500 that he owed. We're told when the men became aggressive, Manuel told them to take the truck and then took off running. But that's when they say the suspects chased him down and shot him in the head. Manuel died at the hospital. They took out AK-47s. They took out guns. Those six individuals, you know who you are. I will find you. Justice will be done for my brother and his family. Manuel's sister says he planned to pick that money up and go buy Christmas presents for his girls. They just didn't take $500. They took a life. They took our life. They took a father. Family and friends gathered near the scene of the crime on Christmas Day, remembering their loved one and vowing to fight for justice. I'll be damned if I let this go on without justice. Yeah, as you can see, that family visibly shaken. Uh, now, as of right now, there's been no suspect information released. Uh, the family asking anyone with information to pick up the phone, call police. Remember, you can always call Crime Stoppers in order to remain anonymous. Any information uh, could help. I'm Gabby Hart, Fox 26 News.